Okay. Audio check. Quick audio check. Everybody gonna go ahead and do a sync check. So we got one, two, one, two. Looks like we are good. One, two, one, two. <laughs> well, I didn't even do it on cam. Okay, we'll
Hello, good morning, good afternoon, I hope everyone. Happy New Year? <laughs> what? It's not New Year, hun. Um, hello everyone, welcome to the stream, welcome to the chat. We had Cloud Bebop, we had Isadago, we had Nezrin come in and say hi, I appreciate you all. Um, I got a new top. I ordered some clothes legit a month ago, and they just came in the mail yesterday. The other ones are in... Oh my god, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that sunny place. At the top of the stream, hi Naito! <laughs> That's the point, Lamau, I literally... <laughs> Hi, Naito. Welcome to the stream. So, I got some clothes last month, and they came in the mail finally. And, dude, I love this so much. Like, just the, the sheer lace puffy sleeves. It's got, like, princess vibes, right? <laughs> Spooky debt, yeah. Student debt, Lamo. Okay. So, the other ones are in the wash, so I'll be wearing those next week. Because, like, I was low-key feeling a little bit femme today. I don't know. I was feeling kind of lazy the past few days, but I was like, you know, I want to look cute today. <laughs> yes, get it. I know. I, I like I have this like it's um what would you call it? Like iridescent scrunchie. I thank you for the follow munchkins. I appreciate that. But I was feeling cute today. Oh my god, I literally I literally got two hours of sleep because I was talking to a friend till 2 a.m. And then I couldn't go to sleep, so I didn't go to bed bed until like five, and then I woke up at seven, and then I kinda like chilled in bed until stream. So, my day's been great, guys. It's 11 a.m. for me, so I'm basically halfway through my day, and I've done the nothing. But okay, as we announced last week, we were what we are going to be doing for this Mario, almost a Mario Kart, Mario 3D World run is anytime I game over, I give chat subs. Last week, find me on Hover. Let's go, Pago. Hi, Munchkins. Welcome to chat. Hope you are doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But cool. We don't get many folks from Hover. We have a lot of TikTok frogs in chat, but we got a Hover person. That's pretty pago. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So anytime I game over, I guess the last week, I think we only game over one time, and I believe we can go ahead and get started. We can get started. Enough chit chatting. Let's get started. <clears throat> I believe last week, I think I ended off with we ended off with the third world, so we're heading into world four. And, <clears throat> I, I th yeah, I have eight lives left. So, oh, dude, I have less than I thought I did. I thought I had 11 or 10. But, you know, it's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna grind. Okay. Should I go back? Because there's one stage in World 3 in which you can, like, grind up coins and get infinite lives, basically. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> or munch munch. Okay, got it, buzz. Got it, buzz. Um, should we go back? I think that's cheating. I think we should just go for the next world. I, I, I feel like it'd be just ingenuous if I went back and got more coins. CBH. Okay, so today, how today's gonna go, um, we're going to run a prediction every level. So similar to last week, we're gonna do the prediction to where is this stage gonna make me game over? Implying, is this level going to make me lose all of my lives? And then will I give subs after this stage? So that is what the predictions are going to be for today. Oh, okay, this is the first level. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the first prediction up for you guys. If you are new to Twitch or un are unsure of how channel points work, I'm gonna go ahead and link the Twitch help article explaining both channel points for the first link and then how predictions work for that second link. So if you are new and don't know what predictions are, please go check out those articles. That way you know what you are getting into. <laughs> Found me a Mario Kart clip? Pogo, that's nice. I love Mario Kart so much. We usually do that on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so if you want to see those popping on those days. Um, prediction, oh, will <clears throat> this stage... I cannot spell stage. My dad is starting to chop wood. I'm gonna go scream. Will this stage make me game over? Question mark? Okay, we got yes. Okay. I'm gonna put no as believe this time. So gentle reminder, no is going to be believe, yes is going to be doubt. Okay, should we have a two minutes or one minute? Let's do one minute. Let's do one minute on a British chicken. <laughs> How good am I at the game? Um not very good, I'ma be honest. And I'm not very good. <laughs> oh, is the fire alarm going off? Night to oh dude. Or is like is whole mech just like causing trouble right now because i know when i took home ec in i think like eighth or ninth grade like we definitely made the fire alarm pop off a few times 
I think there was one level. We played it two weeks ago. And it made me lose legit 20 lives. And it was horrible. Oh, okay, we gotta get keys. <laughs> yeah, when I actually get diagnosis and shit, then you guys can stop being ableist. <laughs> or no, then you guys would actually be ableist. I, I went the wrong way? Okay, I- that- that was a mistake. That was- uh... <laughs> I feel like- if I have, like, the cat power up- it... Oh, this is going the wrong way. Is it gonna come back? Oh my god! Okay, that was the wrong way. Why did it stop? Oh, of course I went the wrong way. Okay, I think it's gonna come back. Did it fall in? Okay, it did. Thank God. I, I was going- I was trying to kill the enemies and then I failed. You were trying. Wait, what happened to the shell? Did it despawn? Okay, we're down- we're down two lives already. This is not looking good. <clears throat> like I said at top of stream, I only got- Two hours of sleep, so we're gonna we're gonna keep blaming that. Oh, okay, I have to kill them. Got it. Okay, that's gonna ricochet eventually. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm honestly not too annoyed about the Twitch views disappearing because to me, I never really looked at that number because I believe, fuck me, <laughs> I believe the Twitch views for that one. Why did despawn? It was basically like how many profile views you had, which I think is kind of like irrelevant and like doesn't mean doesn't mean anything basically. <laughs> we killed him. Yeah, so I'm honestly not too concerned. Like I'm I'm too scared. Oh my god! <laughs> Is, I don't think there's anything special in those mystery boxes, so I honestly, I, I kind of want to skip it. I don't- I do not think I need to get them. Like, my goal right now is to just- just be literally beating the level. Because we can always come back and get any stars we've missed. Like, I'm not too concerned. Okay, I'm trying. I'm genuinely trying. Ooh, secret? <laughs> you can just grandpa? Yeah, okay. My difficulty is... Is like... IRL, I have very limited depth perception, right? Ooh, that was cool. So like, you see how when you jump there's the shadow? For some reason it doesn't fully register to me. <laughs> that that's what- that's where I need to land. I'm also just small brain, so... Oh, we got it! Easy! Oh, we got the boomerang in this game? That's cool. We haven't had this power-up just yet. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I have- I just can't have anything good, can I? Oh, okay, we gotta come back for this one. We need to get all the key pieces. Okay, the checkpoint's in the background. We got two, easy. <laughs> Can I get out of here? Oh, that was kind of cool. We KO'd that guy. Can we do it again? Oh, that was cool! Okay. Dude, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, the camera is very limited. Because my first 3D Mario game had to be Odyssey, right? So I'm totally used to those mechanics in that camera. Oh, 
Okay, we're missing a key. Is it down here? Oh, that was a one-up. That's what that was. Oh! Okay, okay. I see it. I see it. Okay, we cannot- we cannot fall up the stage here. <laughs> We're not repeating the cat level again. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish I played this game when I was younger. Because I know once it was, um, not rebranded, re remade for the Switch, like, everyone was, like, flipping their shit. But I never played it when I was younger, so I didn't have that nostalgia, you know? I- I didn't get any stars. <laughs> Literally no stars achieved. Okay, there's probably one in that little nook and cranny, but we missed it, so it's fine. We're not we're not playing for stars. <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy. I do not like how there's not an edge. <laughs> this mechanic is fun, but Loki anxiety inducing. Oh, the stamp! Fuck! We missed the stamp. Or, I mean, I missed the stamp, Sedge. Can we go again? Ah, no. We're gonna have to play this stage again, come back to it. Oh my god, I got no stars. I got literally no stars. Dude, I am so good at this game. Oh, there we go. Easy. We had 10 points in doubt. Come on, I, I had eight lives, guys. I had eight lives. I mean, granted, it did take three of them, so... Valid for putting points and down to the H. Okay. We are heading into the second stage of world number five. We can go ahead and get our next prediction started. Go pull laser bets, chat. We do have seven lives remaining right now, which is a good handful. Let's go. Oh, it's another carnival stage. Oh, dude, I hate this. I, I literally hate this. In any game, I hate where the platforms move. It, it, okay, we're gonna ground pound. It makes me feel like there's an earthquake or some shit. What does a lurk command do? You can try it out, Issa. Try it out, exclamation lurk, to see what happens. I love the levels with the shadow mechanic. It's so cool. Oh, you can kill them. Okay, fuck out. <gasps> I, I feel like Peach is such a cop-out character. Yeah, since when she jumps, she kind of floats. It feels like cheating, but I also feel like I kind of need it. I didn't see the spikes. Oh, yeah. I forgot that it had the spikes on there. <clears throat> yes, go again! Hmm. 
Maybe it's me, being bad at the game, who wishes there was more checkpoints. Is it bad to feel that way? Asking for a friend. <laughs> hey, infinite money glitch? No, we only got like 10 coins, Sag. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way? <laughs> it's good for us to ask more checkpoints? Thank you. Thank you for validating me, Naito. Spikes again! <laughs> okay, another thing I do when I jump... I kind of want to go up here. You got the first star, baby! Another thing I do when I jump is I tend to, like, when I jump, I, I just instinctively move my joystick when I know it's just best to just jump normally. Th this is why I can literally never play Dark Souls, because there there's not nearly enough checkpoints. Like, I know it's satisfying when you beat, like, a boss or a... not a level, but, like, a world in Dark Souls, but legit, the return is not worth it. Okay, this is getting annoying. <gasps> okay, you got it. Oh no, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Darker Side in Super Mario Odyssey, and there was one mechanic to where you had to swing on levers, and you'd, you'd have to time it like this. Okay, thank god we slowed down. If anybody has gotten to, like, the very end of Odyssey where you can unlock Darker Side and Dark Side. Dark Side is not that bad, but Darker Side is literally brutal. I think I played Darker Side for 20 hours total, and I haven't touched Super Mario Odyssey since. It was that traumatizing. Okay, there's a pipe on the right. I just want to relax. I want to cruise around a little bit. Because I know if I try and jump- Oh, it's gonna bite. I didn't realize that. Okay, we didn't fall off. Close ratio. <laughs> oh, dude, you need to try Darker Side 9, so you need to at least try it. That we can feel my pain. No, oh, fuck, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. God, and me. Oh my god, I got it! Holy shit! Hi Patch, welcome to stream, hope you're doing well today. I know, um, this is one of the new rules for the Super Mario 3D World. Every game over, I gift subs. I think last week we gifted our only game over one time. But, you know what I did? I asked my sister for a loan, so she's gonna give me an extra 50 bucks for my birthday so I can use it for stream for the birthday stream. <laughs> so, shoutouts to my sister, my one investor. Oh, look at this! Dude, I love- Oh, anybody ever play the Wii version of Mario Kart and you had the big mushroom power-up? That was the best. Ooh, stamp? Easy? Yeah, because I- I think I've finalized- <laughs> Stonks. Wait, do I have the stonk? I think I have the stonks in mode enabled. I don't! I need- okay, I literally- I li I'm literally adding- Oh fuck, there's six seconds left! Dude, I w <laughs> I got distracted. Okay, we're gonna add the stonks emote for 7TV. I'm doing that literally right now. 
<laughs> um, if you guys are new to Twitch, or if you are on desktop right now, <laughs> beta with the emote, I, I know, I'll make it all. Let's see, do I, did I do it right? Well, let's, let's pause the game while I'm troubleshooting right now. Wait. What? Did I not do it right? What the fuck? Okay, well, I will fix that later. I thought... What? Why is it adding the emote? Mods? <laughs> yeah, it's enabled. Why isn't it showing up? <laughs> oh, I, I keep on putting stocks. Oh my god, I'm literally brain dead. No? What? Okay, I will fix that later. How far along the game are you? Like, have I unlocked Rosalina? Rosalina's a playable character in this game? I didn't know that. Um, spoilers. No, you're fine. You're fine. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> yeah, Sag Mobile. Anyway, exclamation extensions in chat to get links to download the third-party emote extensions for desktop. So if you haven't already, download those extensions so we can say super cool Pago emotes in chat. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this shit. I love Mario. No, you're fine. I honestly- okay. We have no backseating tagged, but- oh, okay, there's a pipe there. Oh wait, I dropped from that pipe, didn't I? I- okay. You know how, like, people on, like, Twitter or whatever will get, like, mad about seeing spoilers? Even if it's, like, from a movie from, like, 20 years ago, like, I don't understand why people get so butthurt about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, it's not a big deal. Like, I can, I can understand getting mad about spoiling a movie that came out, like, a week ago. I think that's kind of mean and rude. No! <sighs> I missed the last one. But, like, if it's from something from ages ago... If you wanted to watch the media or the movie, you would have... <laughs> you would have watched it already, right? <laughs> I hate when they spoil Cinderella. I know, Lamau. Uh, actually, Cinderella, actually, she dies in the movie, guys. That's what happens. Oh, I was so close to getting all three stars, though. That's unfortunate. <gasps> no way. I mess up on the last jump. Guys, I am genuinely upset right now. That, that was such... That was honestly a Megan move. A, a standard Megan move. A at least we can try for that third star again. Why is the camera fucked up? I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, we got the last star. No biggie. No biggie. We lost the life, we're back to six. But we got all three stars on this level, let's go! <laughs> yeah, like, I don't mind spoilers, but actually don't spoil shit for the game. It's just like, I hate when people, like, give me hints and shit, because this is a blind playthrough. And I, as I said earlier, I haven't played- I didn't play this when I was younger. Sorry, I, I am genuinely upset at myself right now. Because the jump, it's almost... It's almost just long enough to where you can miss it if you don't time it right. And I obviously don't have the timing down just yet. I'm gonna go cry later. Okay, we don't have to worry about the star coins. 
Oh, we got them. Oh, I missed the last one. Harder than Dark Souls. I know, Lamau. <laughs> My sister wanted to get Dark Souls for the Switch, but I feel like that would be not fun. Okay. I feel like I have to jump when it's swinging backwards. Okay, let's try to get it. There we go! I was- I wasn't timing the jump right. Third time's the charm, guys. <laughs> yeah, that one was getting kind of scary. I, I was getting scared that we might game over there. Oh, we totally missed this stage. Or this stage. <laughs> okay. New prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. I really hope this stage doesn't make me game over. Because that would be a little bit sad. Oh, it's another motion controls one, isn't it? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, it's not. Oh, it is. Wait, how do I... Oh, I, I do right trigger. Okay. I don't like these stages with the, the motion controls. I grew up playing the Wii, but that does not mean I like motion controls any better. <laughs> Lamau. Easy, another star in the books. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that was kind of rude. Let's go again. Huh. How do we get around? I'm looking for another door right now. Oh! Oh, you can kill the ghosts! Okay. Oh, it doesn't stay there. Oh, and then I, and then I do this one. Oh, I, I gotta stand on the platform. my arms like this. <laughs> I'm just playing like a pleb right now. I wonder how I get up top though. Where oh, there's a door. Okay, we gotta find that last door. Dude, we just murking these ghosts. Oh, I okay, I see. I I didn't see this this platform right here. I didn't I didn't see this one. 
Can I run? Oh, I can run. <laughs> Everyone was giving me shit last time for not dashing. Oh, fuck! Easy. I kind of like the tough stages, and sometimes... I don't like puzzle stuff sometimes. It makes my brain hurt. Oh, wait. I almost clicked the wrong button. Will this make me game over? No shot. No way, Jose. We had two points in doubt. <laughs> Lamo. <laughs> what is nice about the toad levels is that we always have like a big handful of stars. What's this one? Okay, this one looks difficile. A teensy bit difficile. <clears throat> okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. Oh no, it's a timed one. I skipped one, didn't I? Oops! <laughs> I, I want to do this one again. I want to do this one again. <clears throat> yeah, I know I said I like sheer and lace tops, but it's low-key kind of itchy. But only like the left sleeve. The right one is fine, but this one is bugging me. I want to try this one again. Because I know I definitely missed some stuff. <gasps> God damn it, I missed one! Yeah, because in order to get over here, you need four. Okay, there's one last star over there. Oh, I <laughs> I didn't I didn't see that. I want to try again. I think trying again is fair. <clears throat> okay, then I see a toad button there to the right. We're trying again, boys. Can I change my character? I guess not. Ooh, double kill! Okay, and I think that last star is probably- you need Toad. I think we're gonna try this one one more time with Toad. Okay, cool. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Whoa. Toe jumps really high. Oh, 
was the stamp? Okay. <laughs> Where's that last star then? Maybe it's here? Okay, that was not what I was trying to do. Fuck. <laughs> At least it lets you like beat the level without needing the extra characters. Yeah, I have no idea where that first star is. Like legit no idea. Hi Rainy, welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well today. I'm doing pretty decent today. I, I haven't taken too many L's. We haven't game over just yet. So we are doing good. But we do only have five lives left, which is a little bit concerning. Ooh, Gamba time! Ooh, let's go. And okay, let's go ahead and end this prediction. It's everybody's favorite. It's Gamba time. <laughs> oh fuck! I chose the wrong thing. Hey, everybody, be quiet. Ah! Dude, either I'm like goaded at this mini game, and then other times I suck. But we still got 100 coins. I think that's one. Yeah, that's one, one up. I think this is for big or small, yeah? I'm gonna go ahead and run a poll for which present should I choose. <laughs> okay, we have a poll up in chat. Go vote for should I choose big or small gift? And since chat, I'm giving you the ability to vote, you should go vote. Use your inalienable rights, guys. <laughs> we got one for big, one for small. Okay, one to one. One to one. If it is a tie, we are gonna do a coin flip. We got two for small. Okay, okay. Last time we chose small, it screwed me over. It gave me really shitty power-ups. But I, I honestly swear it's RNG. I don't know. Well, we got 20 seconds left, guys. Come on, go cast your votes. Oh, sorry. Are you guys liking the predictions and the polls and stuff? Because I know a lot of bigger streamers, that's like standard for their chat rooms. So I kind of want to get like all the existing viewers accustomed to them. Because I'm telling you, channels that have like 5k viewers and they run predictions where like the points is like in the millions for each other prediction is insane. Like it's so much fun. Okay, poll is in. We got two votes for small, one for big. For we're gonna go ahead and choose the small present. You guys better choose the right one. Oh, okay, let's go. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Thank you, chat. Okay, new prediction is up for this stage. Go place your bets, chat. Ah! <laughs> I was setting up the prediction, guys. Okay, we got two left. Easy. Easy clap. Easy clap.
No way I could have taken an L there. E even though, even though I did get hit because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> 101, like 101 Dalmatians, <laughs> love out. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get a new prediction up for the stage. I kind of want to play Toad for now because I like the way the kitten looks. Oh, this is definitely- I think any little kid would love this game. Because just like the exploring aspect is really fun on its own. And all the different mechanics, I think it's super engaging, too. Like, it's keeping my brain active, it's keeping me moving. We got a backup bell, okay. I feel like there'd be something up top there, but there's nothing there. Dude, I wish we could move the camera more. Oh, there's definitely something up here. Okay, that's a little bit mean. Easy. Ooh, you guys see that lens flare? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Sorry, I'm in art school. I feel like this is something important. Ooh, another infinite money glitch. Let's go. Ooh, I love this power-up. Makes me feel like I have money. I'm gonna wear it out before I lose it. I think we got a solid one up from that coin block. Yeah, I see some of the dirt piles sparkling. Oop, time. Oh, dude, this guy is huge. Dude, we're rich. That one in the distance straight ahead is glowing as well. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> oh, no, we're out of time. We're out of time. See, I'm so used to exploring that I always forget there's a timer. One more time. Okay. We got an extra 20 seconds on the clock. Nope, not this one. Oh, this one, this one. Oh, just more stupid coins! Here, we're speedrunning. 
Okay, this seems intentional. Why is there just like a random pond here? Okay, we have less than a minute left. We're just gonna go. Ooh. Oh, we have a star. Okay, I thought that was like a secret item. We have 20 seconds. Can we do it? Oh, fuck. Oh, I just missed it. Ooh, with four seconds to spare, guys. You see that? Dude, I'm just too good. <laughs> Okay, so, before we head into the next stage, we are, oh, we, we unlocked two levels, let's go. We are about an hour into stream, and you guys know what that means. You know what that means. It is time to fulfill my contractual obligation and run a few ads. But you know what you can do to avoid those ads? You can subscribe for four nine nine nine, just $5 a month. That's the cost of a Starbucks coffee, or... If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link your Amazon to your Twitch and get a free keyword, a free subscription every month. And you can give it to me and have no ads. You get so cool sub emotes. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, an ad is coming. We will see a few of you guys in a few minutes. Or unless any gifters want to give some subs, that way non-subs can not see ads. I'm kidding, don't do it. Or actually, maybe, I'm joking. Or not, I don't know. Okay, back to game. Oh, just looking at this stage, just looking at it. This one does not look fun. But let's snag these coins real quick. Okay, go ahead and get our next prediction up for the stage. just a shortcut. I wanted something more. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to break those ones. I was only trying to break the top one. Oh wait, I can probably throw the bomb, right? Oh, fuck. That works. At least it didn't kill me. I can't really pick it up. Is another one gonna spawn? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna lure it here. Oh, I was close. I was close. Okay, it's gonna go off anyway. This seems like the mechanic for like a Mario Maker stage. Okay, we're gonna grab it before it falls down. Easy, up and one up. Okay, this red bar looks kind of out of place, right? It doesn't match the aesthetic of the stage. Anyway, let's continue on. Oh, fuck. I, I didn't even try. It just ran right into me. You're on desktop now? Pago. Desktop is god tier. 
Anybody who says otherwise, um, try desktop one day and you will understand. Hmm. I don't think another bomb's gonna spawn. Works. Okay, I didn't realize we could hit with a pow. <laughs> you have to time this properly because I don't know if this pipe is gonna close up after. Oh, let's go. I did it correctly for once. I would, like, dash, but I'm so scared that I'm gonna run up the track. Oh my god, it's Mario! That's so cute. Oh, we got all three stars! Let's go. Oh, an extra hundred seconds? Okay. We love that. Bombs don't do any damage. That's that's really nice. Okay, I just said I love when they don't do damage, and then it did proceeds to do damage. That is a little bit rude. Okay, we got the stamp. We got all three stars. So I, I really don't think I missed anything. Okay, I messed it up. <laughs> That's funny how it just rolled. <clears throat> okay. Well, we can choose to skip that moving platform stage. Hmm. I was pressing A. Dude, I am so good at this game. Okay, we're gonna try this moving platforms level. Even if it looks scary, we're going to try it. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. Oh, and I cannot move the camera. Actually, now I can. Oh, I hate this. Is it gonna switch? What trigger? There's literally no mo no no warning that I was gonna switch. Like no auditory cue. Oh, every time I jump. Vive head. I see. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I know, I, I just don't like things I'm not good at, okay? I think that's that's the main determining factor. <laughs> Wait, how am I gonna make this jump? 
Dude, I messed up. Actually, how? So be nice, be nice. I I am slow. I got two hours of sleep. I am trying my best, hun. <laughs> but true, I mean, like, there's little, like, five-year-olds on Fortnite who, like, have a million and one victory royales, so... I'm not too mad. Okay, um... How do we get out of this one? Okay, I see, I see. <laughs> but no hate. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, fuck! I, I pressed jump instead of attack. End me. Okay, let's go again. Jump instead of attack! Oh no. Oh no. Because you kind of have to like unlearn. This one really makes your brain work. We did it? Ooh, another one of these. And we immediately lost the second toad. Good job, Megan. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, I see. Dude, that train was really freaking loud. Which way should I go? It looked the same. CBH. No! <laughs> I walked right off that one. right there. We have ample plenty of time to mess around. Just clip the stream. Thank you. I appreciate that, Issa. Okay, this one might be difficult for me. I don't know if I can do this part. <laughs> I do not like this. No way. I'm I am not doing that star. Or beating this level, I guess. Comedy. <laughs> I was watching my sister play Breath of the Wild last night, and I was giving her so much slack for like every time she died or could not beat a shrine. And I think today just proved that I need to be nicer to her. <laughs> Dang, I forgot about the the fire mechanic. 
Okay, we got six lives left. That's a good handful. I, I really do not think this one will cost me six lives. Should we just take, like, a leap of faith and see if we- <laughs> Maybe if we had, like, Peach, maybe she could float over and get that stamp. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> oh, I, I tried. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I should honestly try melatonin. My sister takes uh, melatonin gummies, but I don't know why I'm so hesitant to try it. I'm just scared. Yeah, two nights in a row of bad sleep. I just need to stop talking to people at nighttime. That's literally what I need to stop doing. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. I feel like I'm not supposed to touch the light. No! <laughs> Was it worth it? Yes. Oh no! We didn't spawn small. Huh. Oh, I think it's, we died full sides, that's why I think. Oh, I can't pick it up. That's a bummer. Uh, I. It, it, speed run, speed run! Oh! I thought there was like a secret. I mean, it seemed like there'd be a secret there, right? Oh wait, it's just coins. <laughs> Thank you for clipping the stream, I appreciate it, Issa. Okay, let's go again. Easy. I actually have to do homework today, and I have like two hours worth of homework. And I was gonna do it yesterday, but then I was tired yesterday, so... No nap after stream today, Sag. Oh fuck, I, I got clipped. Because the way my classes work is we get all of the assignments- Oh, I can't avoid it. We get all of the assignments at the top of the month. So that way you can like plan out your assignments, but I- I just- I don't- I don't ever do it properly. So it's all my fault that I'm procrastinating. Literally all my fault. I I just need to get good. see something back here. Actually, <laughs> that's not it. Ooh, there has to be something up here. I don't think there's any way to climb this wall unless you have the cap car up, though. No, 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 you gotta- you gotta kill the- the spring dude.
Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, I'm, I'm not big enough. Am I really not big enough? Oh, no. Oh, wait, I have a power up? Maybe this will help? Hmm. Oh! I didn't know if you ground bounded, you jumped higher. This is so painful to watch. I know, honey. I know. If you don't like it, don't watch. J just skip the stream. Nuki tail. <laughs> it's a crossover I didn't want. Oh, since I have the mushroom head, enemies aren't gonna attack me now, right? Interesting. That is a cool mechanic. Okay, why can't I make this jump? There we go. Dude, I do not know what's wrong with me right there. we go I think there is an emote like that Issa I, d I don't know what it's called but it has to be like a 7 TV one so I know I've seen it in other chats I'm trying to think I don't know what the the code is though or the prefix Okay, we're heading to the final level of this world. I think after this world, we're gonna go ahead and switch gears to um, Animal Crossing, so. <clears> okay, <throat> prediction is up for this stage. We have a solid six lives. And the Bowser Castle stages have been notorious for me taking L's, but the boss is honestly not that bad. It's just the actual level. That trips me up. <clears throat> Ooh, I do not like this. No, I do not. Oh, fuck. Cat power up actually goaded. Oh, 
Oh no! No! My crunch! Oh, boss fight time. It looks like the little the facial features look like the Duolingo bird. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, I have to, I have to hit next. Jubate it? Oh, I have to jubate it to fall this way. Yep. Okay, I got it. I got it. I figured it out. That was fun. Did you get, you kind of like had to make it rotate it or rotate it so you could debate it to turn a certain way. Dude, I love how creative this game is. Genuinely. Okay, let's try again, let's try again. There we go! <laughs> yeah, creative but linear, for sure. Like, the levels definitely give you, like, a good sense of direction. But I like all the different mechanics. Like, they make you, like, ponder and think about stuff. Okay, so we defeated World 5. Not too bad. Definitely not speedrunner pace. <laughs> but we, di we didn't take any L's. We didn't game over today. Thank God. That would have been devastating to my bank account. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and save here. The wrong button. And then we can go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. Okay, so if anybody is new to stream, 
the Animal Crossing part of stream is basically more chill, just chatting. So if you have any questions or want to chat, feel free and chat. You can talk to me, you know. What, what would be a good title for this section? Hmm. Yes, hello, Gravitalism Simulator, Lamo. <laughs> uh, what would be a good one? I kind of want to relate it to the Easter thing. Because we did Infinite Egg Glitch, we did Eggs Come From Where, and then what would be another good one. Don't put your eggs all in one basket. There we go. Hey, while well, the game is loading up, if you haven't already, I am doing a viewer submitted You Laugh, You Lose in about a week and a half, so April 24th. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and fill out that Google form that I just linked in chat. And I might laugh and lol at your video. Weirdest shit sometimes is so. Oh, oh, also, you know what I got in the mail too today? I got. Let me go to full cam real quick. I got Mario Party Superstars, which we are going to be playing with question mark real friends on the birthday stream. And I know we were goofing and gapping that I'm running out of things to talk about. So. We bought the demo of this book for my Kindle, but I bought the paperback version of this book. It has a thousand and one questions and like icebreaker stuff. So we, we can whip this out if ever I run out of things to run out of things to say. Yeah, for real, Katie does slip up a lot to BH. She needs to get her shit together. <laughs> Oh my god, stretch! Okay. Make sure y'all are drinking water, make sure y'all are stretching, you know? Okay. I need to get some water, too. Because in Animal Crossing, there's a lot of talking. Surprisingly. For a chill game, a lot of talking. Yeah, imagine having friends, Lamau. <laughs> I don't want to announce who might be on the birthday stream. Because we are still figuring out who's going to be on. But it's going to be some pretty cool Pago people. Okay. Yeah, let's get started. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 12.14pm on Thursday, April 14th, 2022. This may not count as news, but... I do have a cautionary tale of sorts to share. Oh, bro. <gasps> Occasionally, residents complain that they purchased a work of art, only to later realize it's, well, <laughs> fake. We all know that the fakes are purchased from a boat anchored along the northern shore. What you do with your bells is your business, but I ask that you please be wary of this boat. Stay vigilant. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Was oh, the prediction still on? Thank you, Miss. I'll go ahead and end that. There you go, fixed. Ooh, okay, we got this fit yesterday, and I am in love with it. Do you guys see it? Like the red prom dress with the crown and those red sneaks? Oh my god. If I had different glasses, this fit would go hard. Yeah, let's talk to Kiki. I have a reaction I can teach you, if you got time. One time I heard a tragic story that left me feeling terrible. Now that I'm looking back on it, I'm getting sad all over again. In case you missed it, that was an example of sadness. It comes in handy when you're down. <laughs> Sag. You have just learned Sag. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so what I have decided is we're going to be chopping wood every day on stream because I forgot that for some of the craftable recipes for like the hot items, like as of recent, they've all been requiring wood. So we need to be chopping trees every day now. Add that to our list of daily things to do. Okay. So, we don't necessarily need another fishing rod right now. We can always come back and grab that if needed. What did I do off stream? Um, oh! I know what I did off stream! Let's go talk to Tom Nook real quick. Dude, I love the dress so much. Just the bright red. Ooh! <clears throat> hey, they're waiting for us. Well, hello there, Megan. Just like that, your home is another proper room, huh? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel! That'll be 540,000 bells! Ah oh, yes, please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature as you've done before. One other thing I should mention. Now, you, now that you've made such big improvements on your home, I can start offering customization services. This is not about increasing the size of your home. It's about changing the look of your home's exterior. Of course, the things we can change depend on the size of your home, but the customization costs are built in. That means you can change things freely without additional loans. From your roof to your mailbox- <laughs> Oh! And speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, you can change its location too. Just pick up your mailbox with Y and place it where you'd like. I'll make sure your mail knows where to go. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yeah, so last night off stream, the hot item was natural garden chair, so I gained like, I think like 200,000 just off of selling like a million chairs. So I was able to pay off my debt, so now we have a bit more storage in the house. So now, that upgraded overnight, so we owe 550k, which will probably take like a week to earn, which is fine. Like I said, we're not going to start really decorating until we get the house fully upgraded. That way we can put all this, all this junk in the actual house. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started with our dailies. <laughs> um, I really don't... I, I, I bought these axes new right before the shop closed last night and I didn't use them. So I, I think we are good. But we- okay, we should buy a new fit right now. I decided at the top of every stream we're going to buy a new fit. Because yesterday, we bought the fit at Industry, and I felt bad. Ooh, look at this crown! Ooh, I like that one more. <laughs> okay. I only have 15,000. I don't have- I have literally nothing in the bank right now. <laughs> is anything worth? Because if nothing is worth, then I'm just gonna go buy that new crown. Okay, no problem, Missa. I appreciate you coming in and chatting. You know, pleasure as always. But I hope you have a good one. Make sure you get your homework done. <laughs> yeah, Drake's in chat for Issa, guys. Ooh! Dude, I have sandals just like this, but just in suede. Okay, I don't like- there. there's no red. So I'm not gonna buy these sandals. I don't- I'm not seeing anything that I'm liking. So I think- I think we're just gonna buy this crown. And upgrade our tiara. Wait, I didn't mean to buy the fucking sunglasses! They're ugly as shit! Dang, I, I just wasted 2k. I'm taking them off right now. They're, they are literally so freaking ugly. Okay, at least we can finally see my eyes now. Okay, let's get started on chopping. <laughs> the 
does anybody have or anybody else rather have the anxiety of like missing a text message like i said i was up late late last night like talking to a friend and i just have like i have my notifications on so loud and i get i get anxious sometimes when i'm streaming because that's the only time where i don't like answer emails or text messages because I get so scared that the one time I miss a message, like, something will happen. Because, like, the last time I can recall that happening is... Because, like, my parents, we don't text very often. Like, if we need something, we'll call each other. But it was me and my sister home, and we got a text from our mom. And we're like, oh, that's weird. And I didn't answer it for, like, five, ten minutes. And then... Because, like, my notification sound is the same for most of my apps. I've now since changed, like, the notification sound for each app depending on, like, so, like, if it's a text message, I will know to answer right away. Anyway, like, the text message said they got into a car accident, which, not cool, very common, but still not fun, right? And neither my sister or I could drive at the time, so there was nothing we could really do to help, and it sucked. So, like, I always just have that looming thought of, like, if I don't answer or look at this text or email right away, like, something could have happened, you know what I mean? That's why, like, I don't mind if, like, people ping me late. Like, that's totally fine. But... It's hard to get past that kind of, like, sentiment, I guess. Yeah, I can't remember if I chopped this tree. I didn't, thank goodness. <laughs> I always get scared using just the regular axe, because if you chop three times, then the whole tree comes down. And I don't want to do that. And like, I know for me, I don't care if people don't answer messages right away, like that doesn't bother me. Like, I, I'm not petty about that type of thing. Because usually, if, if there's like an emergency or like if I'm in a crisis, I will call somebody. I don't text, you know? <laughs> because a text, it's so much easier to ignore, right? Oh my god. I, I, I do not like the middle school version of me. <sighs> story time, story time. I didn't have many friends growing up. It's similar to now, right? So... I didn't understand like social cues properly and this was like the first friend I had that I had like their phone number so I could like text them this was back in I think seventh grade so junior high and middle school hello I appreciate that follow um Furman if you have any names or pronouns make sure to tell me um otherwise feel free chat lurk whatever makes you happy welcome to stream I <laughs> usually Animal Crossing is pretty chill. We we chit we talk we chit chat. Oh bug. Anyway, so this was like the first friend I ever like texted, and I was okay. I was kind of crazy when I was younger because, like I said, I didn't understand social cues fully or properly. <laughs> so there was one time she I didn't know I didn't know she was at a concert. She was at a recital. So she didn't answer my text messages because she was at the recital, but I didn't know. So I spam called her like five times back to back. And then I blew up her phone with like 10 text messages. I was just being like, hey, hi. And like, just like I spammed emojis. And she didn't text me after that. Because <laughs> like, I didn't understand that that was not okay. This was like little 13 year old me who was not emotionally or socially mature enough to understand what's okay and not okay. And I think about that all of the time. <laughs> I think back and I'm like, why did I do that? That is so cringe. You go by he him? Got it, boss. <clears throat> Dude, I... Uh, I cannot believe I did that shit. I don't do that anymore. I don't- I promise you, I did not do that shit anymore. <laughs> It's very rare that I will double text, now that I think about it. If it's been like a day or two, that's when I will like sometimes consider double texting. 
But otherwise, I try to avoid it. Because in my head, if someone doesn't reply to a message quickly, then they don't want to talk to me. Which I know probably isn't true. Because they have, like, other stuff going on. <laughs> You're at the hospital? Okay, no problem. Are Are you okay? Are you okay, hon? Or are you, you, you with somebody? And my pronouns? My pronouns? I have a command for that, actually. But I hope you're okay, Cloud. Feel free and chill with me. Help you feel better, you know? There it is. I have to get blood work done? Bruh. The last time I got blood drawn? Homie. Oh, okay. So they tried to get both of my... Like, my elbow veins, right? Hi, Avi. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. So they, they, they could not get it from both of my veins. She tried both of my hands. And she couldn't, like, get it on my hands either. So, like... My- both of my hands were bruised as shit for like a week and it hurt to like move my hands. Dude, I hate getting blood work done. So I feel your pain, Cloud. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Aw, Sag, no new flowers. Okay, back to chopping, back to chopping. Dude, I have to go in for a checkup in a week and a half. Or, no, two weeks, two weeks. And I am excited because I finally get to see the doctor. But then I'm also like, it doesn't sound fun. <laughs> okay, the reason why it doesn't sound fun is... <laughs> I've gained a lot of weight in the past six months. Months Feels bad. And, like, the scale in our house is broken. Meaning, if it says... I weigh 150, which I don't. I don't. <laughs> I actually weigh like 157. So our scale is 7 pounds off. So I'm not excited <laughs> to get like the actual real number. <laughs> but you know, it's fine. It's okay. I, I will get over it. <clears throat> I chopped the wrong way. We can just leave those pieces of wood there. <clears throat> Should we break out the book of questions? Should we finally break out the book? Okay, let, let's try and find a good one. I, I, did, I don't have highlighters, so I'm just gonna use my Tombo. Okay, let's find a good one. Ooh, okay, okay. This is a paperback. If y'all don't know, I, I bought a book of topics, right? I'm gonna ruin this book. <laughs> okay. I just opened to a random page, number 49. Okay, we're gonna make it seem like this transition is normal. We're gonna make it seem like it's normal, okay? So, I think... <laughs> Oof. Uh, okay, I actually have to think about this. What is a food that I cannot eat? Like, even if I try. Ooh. I'm, 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 okay. I'm picky with some food, but then sometimes I'm pretty chill. Like, if you ever go to the restaurant, they give you the wrong food. I don't make a, I don't make a scene. I don't care. If it's something I will still, like, enjoy eating, I don't, like, put it back to the kitchen. But, I know. Mario Cosplay at 1 milli. Are you from the TikTok, hun? Did you see that TikTok today and you came in? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool, though. That was a good meme. That was a good meme. 1 million followers and I will cosplay Mario. Let's go. <laughs> um. Anyway. <laughs> so, like, I'm usually not too picky about certain stuff. But what is... Okay. I've never tried Brussels sprouts, and I don't have the desire to try them. Oh, I'm trying to think. What is something I absolutely cannot- Dude, I hate eggplant. 
I cannot stand it. The emoji made it more cringe. It just ruined it completely for me. And also, it doesn't taste as good. Ooh, have you guys ever tried baked lettuce? It's pretty good. Or like baked cabbage. Like you just put it in the oven, cover it with like salt, pepper, and then oil. And like what happens is when you bake the cabbage, like you, you like chop the bushel, bushel into slices, like an inch thick. And then when it cooks in the oven, like the outer edges will get all nice and crispy. But then the inner center will be like nice, soft, and kind of chewy. And it's so good. Because I know like some fancy ass restaurants, they will serve like roasted lettuce as a salad. <laughs> I haven't tried it, but my, my friend told me about it. And it's supposed to be bougie, but it's literally just torched or baked lettuce, like a whole head of lettuce. Look, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I'm glad you're here from the TikTok, Roman. We have a lot of TikTok frogs in chat, so. L lots of Zoomers in here. <laughs> Even though I myself am tech, I'm technically a Zoomer. Because I was born 99. I'm not, I'm not, fuck. I'm not a millennial. I'm technically a Zoomer. And the- wait, no, I'm a Gen X. I'm one of the two. I, I, me and my sister figured it out the other day. Because she was born in 2000, but I was born in 99. I'm either Gen X or Zoomer. But I'm gonna call myself a Zoomer because that's more cringe. <laughs> Dude, I wish it was raining that way. I didn't have to water the flowers today. You know what else is Zoomer? Binoculars? I'm trying to- I'm trying to figure out your joke, but hi, welcome to chat, Aslan. Hope you're doing well today. I'm, I'm trying to figure out binoculars. I know once you explain a joke, it makes it not funny, but I- I'm genuinely- I genuinely cannot- Figure out the joke. <laughs> no. For some reason, every time I see the word binoculars, I think bron the dinosaur bronchiosaurus or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm also running on two hours of sleep, so <laughs> I don't know how much I can process right now. Oh my god, that is so good, Aslan. If you look through them, your vision zoom ins. Oh my god. Mind blown. Dude, you should be a comedian. <laughs> oh, envy, 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 actually, envy. <gasps> I could have caught them! I've never been able to catch them unless I've had the net in hand already. But that one is pretty close. Okay, my that one is really close. I almost pulled up post pro strats right there. Yeah, honestly, getting attacked by the wasps don't phase me anymore. Like, yes, I lose like a minute maybe of gameplay, but we're not speedrunning, so it's not too big a deal. And like, I don't like... I kind of want to save the medicine for when it's a hot item. CBH. So I don't want to waste it on healing myself. <laughs> it, it'd be different if you like lost your items if you like passed out, but you don't, so it just seems like a... Like an extra cutscene that's meaningless, almost. I don't know, that's just my thoughts. God damn it, I didn't mean to chop the tree down. I know he said, I do not believe in deforestation, but it appears I have changed my morality. 
<laughs> do I know about the Animal Crossing TV secret? No, I do not. If chatters want to get spoiled on it, or don't want to get spoiled, just don't look at chat <laughs> for like a minute. What, what is the TV secret? Is it kind of like the radio to where you can like choose different channels? Okay, no problem. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have the perfect emote for this. It's one of Connor Eats Pants emotes, and it's just the guy from Mario typing. And it's so good. <laughs> I cope? Why are you coping right now, Aislinn? We're not even Mario guarding right now. <laughs> Oh, dude, when they added the Mario Kart, or not the Mario, the Super Mario, like, furniture in the game, dude, I flipped my shit. When I saw the pipe and saw you could teleport, oh my god. I was shitting myself. That was crazy. How'd I get that? That was insane. Somebody clip that, please. I've never been able to do that. But it is do- I thought it was impossible. I thought it was literally impossible to not do it if you didn't have your net in your hand. That was crazy. Dude, I am such a good gamer. Ignore all of my Mario Kart VODs and the SM3D World VODs. I am actually correct. Nah, dude, I just wear a diaper 24-7. Easy cleanup. <laughs> okay. So every Saturday at 3 a.m. on every TV changes to a black screen with a creepy dude with big red eyes and then it says a weird message. Is that canon? Dude, I, I kind of want to try that. Hmm. It's kind of like, what is it? I was going to say Bloody Mary, but that, that's the wrong folklore. But th that is kind of sus. That is kind of creepy. But that is a cool Easter egg. I, I kind of, I actually kind of want to see. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of, <laughs> you know, um. Oh, fuck. What is his name? What is his name? J Station! <laughs> Where he's like, oh, I can't remember like the actual video, but it's like, I resurrected this liberty at 5 a.m. Oh, there's, oh, yeah, there's stuff. Okay, I will for sure look that up on YouTube later. Okay, it seems like we have an infinite amount of these tree eggs, but I need to be grinding more sky eggs and I think fish eggs. I think I have almost all of the Easter recipes unlocked. 
Because I, un I unlocked the hat and the dress, I believe. Because I've been crafting those off stream. Okay, since our inventory is full, I'm going to go ahead and unload everything. I think the max inventory you can have is this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 40 slots. Yeah, I know there's stuff everywhere. I know. When we upgrade the storage in our house, then we will reorganize the whole island. I promise you guys. Okay, there we go. Easy. Oh my god, I remember when I first started playing this game. I didn't realize you could hit the rock multiple times. So I would eat an apple and then just KO the rock with one hit. And I didn't know that you could hit it multiple times until I watched someone else play the game online. Like, I felt like such a goof. And all that wasted material too, I remember like, I, I spent so many miles on Nook tickets just so I can go to deserted islands and the one hit KO the rocks to get like maybe a stone and maybe an iron. Oh my god, I cannot believe. Up 9k? Okay, let's see how much this tree costs. Because I need this tree. Ooh, only 3k? Not bad. That's affordable, guys. Yeah, let's get another one. <laughs> I think we just need two. I don't think I need more than two. the trees behind the center, like right here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I can't push it forward. <laughs> yeah, I love the Easter event. Like, I like the mechanic of, like, having to forage for the eggs. But the bunny is reminiscent of, like, the whack-ass creepy FNAF characters. Which I never liked. I never liked the FNAF games. I never played them, but like I watched people play them online. And I just don't like scary games. TBH. Ah, oh, see, look at that. The little trees in the background. Ah, oh, that looks so good. I love that. Okay, now I, now I can't <laughs> run as easily around. Hey guys, hey guys, y you know what time it is? We are about another hour into stream, and you know what that means? It is ad time, baby, ad time. It is part of my Twitch contract, I have to run ads, but you know what you can do to avoid that ad? You can subscribe for just $4.99, just $5 a month, the cost of a single Starbucks drink. Just skip a drink today, and you can have ad reviewing and the cool sub-only emotes. But, another cool thing, if you have an Amazon Prime account, and you link it to your Twitch account, you can get a free Prime sub 
every month. Isn't that insane? Anyway, that's my spiel. I know it's cringe, I know it's cringe, but an ad is coming. We will some see some of you guys in a few. Get some water, get a snack if you need it while the ads are running. Okay, back to the game. Oh, oh no, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Actually not. Ah, I, I, I threw there. I threw. I could have clutched. Kids, go again. Reset. Dude, I am loving this new crown we got. It's so much better than that silly tiara. With just a full head. N Never mind. Scratch that, scratch that. The full crown <laughs> looks great. Yo, I just- I literally just upgraded to Windows 11, and I just got a notice saying, Oh, more updates are available. It's like, come on, I just upgraded. How are there new updates already? Oh, I was so anxious about upgrading to Windows 11, though. Thankfully, it was fine. Like, the only issue I had was that my Ethernet port wasn't working, so I had to reset everything. Which is fine, no biggie. I, I figured it out. But still anxiety-inducing. Because in my head, if I don't have internet, I have literally nothing. Literally nothing in my life. Because my school, streaming, all of my friends are online. So just the thought of like not having good internet for the laptop, I was freaking out. Imagine my life without the internet now, though. Because, like I said, so much of my life is online now. Especially with the relevance and growth of social media. Like, it it's toxic, but so much of your own, like, personal validation you get through social media, which I know long-term isn't healthy, but it almost feels necessary in, like, like, modern social settings, whether it be, like, your workplace or your friends. And especially during pandemic where you can't necessarily see everyone all the time. Like, I'm at the point where I open, like, Twitter and TikTok, like, no joke, every five minutes. Because I feel like I have to keep up to date with everything. I, I know I'll get over it one day, but it's gonna take a long time to break that habit, unfortunately. Because I didn't start using social media till I was... It was senior year of high school, so... I didn't have the brain rot of using it when I was like a 13. So like all the little Zoomer 10 year olds growing up with TikTok... They're, they're gonna be struggling. You're back? Cool! Thank you for staying! I know ads suck, but I have to do it. it it's a necessary evil. But I appreciate you sticking around. Thankfully, everyone is nice about ads. Like, nobody has complained about them yet, so... It 
instead of running like video ads, I wish there was a way to like run like what's it called? Like where there's like a banner ad or something? That'd be cool. And I know like I think it was last year, I think Twitch was like trialing like poll ads to where like you just had to answer like a quick survey. I thought that mechanic was cool. Like it felt definitely more engaging. Like it made the ad kind of interesting. Because I think the question was like, what's your favorite console? And you had to choose like Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Dude, I failed. So I thought that mechanic for an ad was cool and interesting. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Dude, I am not looking forward to doing my homework later. Because you know when you're in school and- Okay, I'm not saying you should do this. Don't do this. But like sometimes like if the assignment isn't weighted much and like you, you can like skip it. Like it's only at 1% of your grade. It's fine if you skip one. But like the assignment due today is worth 8%. So no shot I can skip this one. <laughs> I mean, it's probably like max two hours of work, so it's not it's not that big a deal. But I'm um, I'm not hyped. I am not looking forward to it. You know, on days where I stream, I usually I, I legit just chill the rest of the day. Because I think a lot of people don't realize how like emotionally taxing it can be. Like, one you're on camera for like hours on end, so like that's just stressful on its own. And then also, typically you're you're talking. And like engaging the whole time so like it definitely drains my social battery like I feel bad because sometimes like my friends will call me after like I end stream and I'm just like I don't feel like talking I know like I I definitely do be waiting like which assignments I should do and might feel comfortable skipping oh shit I'm sorry to hear that man um, hopefully everything's okay though. Like, oh, we've we've definitely had like threats. I I'm in college, but when I was in high school, there was definitely some. Thankfully, we didn't have any like um, lockdown threats, but definitely some scary shit can happen some days, you know. And um, before we get too deep, IMO. Like, any mass shootings should not be happening, and there should be policies in place to help prevent them from happening. Because ultimately, the overall health and welfare of the public should be prioritized. Like, I'm all- Any debate heads, don't fight me right now. But, like, I'm all for- If you want- You can have the right to bear arms, but they should be kept and stored properly. No child should have access to them. They should be stored properly. There should be proper education in place to make sure people who have firearms are trained properly. Yeah, exactly. What happened recently in New York. Exactly. Like, it, it shouldn't be happening. Like, we all know the rest of the world is laughing at us Americans. Being like, you guys think we have it bad? You guys, like, literally kill each yourselves each day. Like, it should just not be happening. And I know when I was in school, um, I graduated- Oh my god, I graduated literally five years ago. But, it, it's not- Like, when you go to school, you shouldn't have to have that, like, that looming thought or anxiety. Like, you should be focusing on just school. Oops, I scared the fish. <laughs> And also, like, if anybody is in school and you notice anything weird with an individual, like, child or another student, or if there's any suspicion that there is going to be, like, a possible, like, mass casualty event, tell your teacher, tell your principal, like, email the principal if you're not at school. Because they have to take every single report seriously. So, don't be joking 
about committing crimes, guys. That's not funny. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay, Foreman. Because that's, that's scary. It's not fun to think about. Like, no kid should have to worry about that shit. Okay, I know we do get kind of hot and heavy when we play Animal Crossing, so just like a gentle reminder for everyone in chat, only share what you are comfortable with, you know? D don't be trauma dumping. Like, it's fine to talk about some things if, it re if it's relevant to what we're talking about, but be careful what you share. Only share what you feel comfortable with. And also keep in mind, make sure you're keeping other chatters comfortable as well. So. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, no kid should have to worry about possibly getting hurt or injured at school. Like, it sucks that more legislation is being passed. Like, there, there's a difference between reactive policy and then proactive policy. Proactive means that it's preventative to where it can stop the event from happening versus reactionary policies in which it's more so emphasizing what you should do if this event were to happen. That's another reason why I'm kind of glad because for my college it's fully online so I don't have to go on campus. And like the campus isn't out of state anyway for me so like it's not like i can go learn on campus anyway but that's definitely like a huge relief to not have to worry about like having to go somewhere every day like i i get scared going to like the store sometimes because like a casualty event can happen anywhere now and it is not fun to think about and like i'm just super anxious in general too so it, it just adds to it Hey, maybe we should talk about something lighter to lift up the mood. Let, let's find another question in here. Okay, I'm gonna read off one of the, the what I think the wildest question I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> um, okay, this one, I'm not gonna answer this one because this one is fucking wild, but it's when do you feel like a oh, I read the question wrong. Um, it says, <laughs> it says, when do you feel like a slave to time? That's the question. I thought the question was, when did you feel most like a slave? And I was like, what the fuck? I, I totally, I totally read it wrong. <laughs> okay. I totally read that one wrong. Yeah, no more of that. Let, let's, let's, let's walk away from that topic a little bit. Um... Dude, when was the- okay, talking about movie theaters, when was the last time I went to a movie theater? <laughs> I have to think about that one hard. I think the last time- Dude, I, it was ages ago, but the last time I went to movie theater was to see the Sonic 1 movie premiere. And I went to see it at, like, noon on a Wednesday at the mall. So, there was like literally no one in the theater. It was like one mom with her four kids who would not shut up. And then, like, four teenagers. <laughs> so Sonic was not popping off back then. But I know, I know Sonic 2 premiered recently, right? I think my friend went to go see it. Like, I think I'm at the point where like I kind of feel comfortable going out and stuff, but then I'm also like I kind of don't. 
I'm, I'm still indifferent. Like, I'm still deciding if I want to go out to eat for my birthday. But honestly, staying home and, like, having chicken nuggets so seems pretty chill. Like, that sounds like a good time. Because literally, the only food I've been, like, craving and dying to have is those little dinosaur chicken nuggets. Like, I need those. Like, I want them so bad. Every time we go to the grocery store, I see them in the freezer section and I'm like, should I get it? No. I Do I need it? No. It's a struggle. And also, we don't have any room in the freezer, so... Even if I even if I could buy them, I, we don't have any room, so I, I can't get them. Sag. We got an air fryer recently, though. And brought everything reheated in the air fryer. Absolutely god tier. I chopped the tree down. I, I got too distracted talking about that air fryer. But, oh my god. Like, reheating fries in the air fryer, they're basically like double fried, double cooked. It's so good. Amazing. Oh my god, I ordered McDonald's. I think it was last week. And I had legit the best fries in my entire life. They tasted like they were almost like dropped in the fryer accidentally twice. But they were like super- they were like almost burnt. But they were so good, so crispy. Amazing. Okay, it appears I have to go buy another axe. So we're gonna go do that real quick. Crazy how many axes we go through. Actually insane. I'm so sad that we accidentally chopped down two trees today. It's actually really disappointing. I need, I need to get good. I need to start focusing. I cannot wait to do another calligraphy stream. Like, the one we did for April Fools. Because it, it was generally really fun. Like, just drawing and listening to music. And, like, talking to chat. That was a nice stream. I think we're going to do those every month. From now on. Bug. That was my fault. I got too brazen. And I was thinking last night as I laid in bed, where am I from? I'm from Washington State. So Pacific Northwest, baby. I did live in Hawaii for a little while though. And that was pretty fun, that was pretty pago. But very expensive. Okay, one second, I need to change my settings. Um, cause I just got a notification on my desktop saying, oh, we're going to automatically update your computer in 15 minutes. And let's disable that real quick. Because that was scary. <laughs> I'm like American. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, I'm American, dude. I'm born and raised, baby. <laughs> oh, that's that's wild. Why do, why is that setting enabled? Okay, I disabled I disabled the update. Thank God, thank God. I think. Okay, I think, I think we pause the update. Okay, I think I did it correct. Hopefully, I, okay. I am genuinely so scared to think about, like, what'll happen. Because I lost power one day midstream. And thankfully, it just immediately ended the stream, right? But... There's this one- dude, I wish I could find the clip, it's so good. There's this one clip from where Hassan Abi was streaming, and like, his- <laughs> his brother disabled the power briefly for like, a few seconds. And like, his stream was still live, but it made everything bug out. And like, the camera feed was still live, but like, he himself was muted. And <laughs> you could just see him like, getting angry and like, yelling and shit. Oh my god, an insane clip. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Like, I'm genuinely so scared. Like, what'll happen if, like, like something wrong happens and the stream is still on and then I can't turn it off? But I, I think I'm able to turn it off remotely from my phone. So, that is a little bit reassuring, but it's still kind of scary to think about, like, what if I can't end the stream? And I'm like, um, awkward, you know? I remember I was there for that clip. It was insane because like the chat was freaking out too. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait until I unlock the Twitch moments. I know some people have it in like the beta, but it's basically a function to where you as the streamer or your mods can like make a clip a moment, and then the people who were in chat will get an exclusive, like, moment badge. That mechanic seemed really interesting, because it's kind of encouraged people to actually, like, be there for the live stream. I don't know. I was thinking about this other the other day. But as of recent- Oh, Rare Butterfly? As of recent, I've been getting, like, more views on the VODs from the stream. And it's, it's weird to me. To think that people are like actually watching the VODs. Like that's cool. I'm glad people like the streams. Because the only VODs that I'll watch like archives of is if like one of my favorite streamers does like a planned stream and I kind of want to watch the full VOD. Or like I used to watch Hassan's VODs when I come home from work. Because like I'd miss the stream because I'd be at work. But it it's cool to me to think that people are liking the streams. If there's any VOD watchers in chat, tell me. I would like to know who watches the VODs. I also haven't been updating my VOD channel on YouTube, Sag. Like, I was gonna update it this morning, but then I got tired. Because basically, uh, my Twitch VODs will only be on the channel for two months, so 60 days. But I am exporting them to the YouTube VOD channel. I'm gonna go ahead and link that in chat. I think I have that command enabled. Hi, thank you for the follow. You're here. I appreciate it. Um, I think the command is VODs. There it is. Yeah. So that's the YouTube channel for the VODs. Oh, did I chop here already? Came here from TikTok. Let's go. Got another TikTok viewer, I appreciate it. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Feel free, chat lurk, whatever makes you happy. But we have a lot of people come over on TikTok. Yeah, another TikTok guy, let's go. <laughs> Probably another Zoomer in chat, am I right? <laughs> I'm a, uh, I asked this earlier, but like, I'm 99. So like, am I a Zoomer or Gen X? We'll have to look that up later. But I appreciate you coming over. Did you see the Mario cosplay clip too? Because that's what brought Furman here.
I think what's cool about the TikTok is that a lot of the clips you'll see are actual clips from stream. And I feel like those clips showcase my, I guess, personality, quote unquote, a bit more. Because a lot of streamer TikToks you will see, we talked about this yesterday, but it's basically either talk, them talking about streaming, which is kind of cringe and only streamers can relate to that content. And then also like really like good moments from stream. So it's like either like super hyped up moments from stream that are like cool, but it makes you seem more of a character than a person. Because a lot of the compliments I've gotten about the TikTok is that everyone says that I feel like a real person. Because a lot of the clips is just me talking about random stuff. <laughs> like, I think one of my Animal Crossing clips that I posted like last week was me talking about how I don't like apples. <laughs> and it got a surprisingly big amount of comments on it. But I've gotten like a few questions from friends be like, how do you do it? You've cracked the code. But I think the thing about TikTok is people like relatable stuff. That's why like you'll see like story time videos pop off because it's usually them just telling a story about something that happened to them, right? So that's just my thoughts. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too wild. Okay, so we've chopped all of our trees. So now I think it is time to get started on- Oh, we got- we have to water the flowers. And then we're gonna see what the hot items of the day are. I think that's all I can sell. For some reason, the music always makes me want to like do a whip. <laughs> oh, we need to see what the hot items are. Actually, I want to go water first. I, I think watering is super satisfying to watch. I used to think it- I used to hate watering and like think it's super tedious, but it's fun to do now. I don't not like it. Or what? Wait, no. I don't- I like it more. <laughs> I was trying to say I don't not like it as much as I didn't before, but that just sounds like a tongue twister. That feels like it's gonna break my brain. Dude, I cannot wait until we get purple pansies. I'm trying to think. Because on my old island, I had every single flower except for the gold roses. Because I never got a five-star island. Sag. But I think my favorite flowers had to be the green mums. Because I liked how they blended in with the grass. And then also all of the purple flowers. Those are genuinely my favorites. Because I feel like purple flowers like IRL are pretty rare to come by too. Ooh! IRL, my favorite flower has to be purple irises. Oh my god, they are beautiful. Down the road from us, one of a few of the houses have purple irises like on their fence, and it's so pretty. I know. Okay, I know there is some like quote-unquote speedruns for Animal Crossing and I remember watching one that was like 12 minutes long. Oh, what was it for? Oh, I think it was like oh no the speedrun was like earning out of tickets it was earning the 5k miles I think it was and I remember watching it and I was like this is crazy like are there any speedruns in which there's like glitches in the game? Because like most standard speedruns like the ones that are like actually cracked are the ones where they're like glitching through the stage or like finding bugs and clips in the map. 
I want to get into speedrunning. Like, I think that community is super cool and fun. And also, those streams are just fun to watch. But also, like, I feel like my dexterity is not there. <laughs> like, I'm not good at quick button inputs. Like, I need to get good at that. Because, like, I think speedrunning, like, Odyssey or SM64 would be fun. Because I know that was the meta a few months ago. Like, the SM64 speedruns. But... I know that the button inputs are very complex for SM64. I mean, speedruns are definitely really fun to watch, IMO. Like, I love small ends like YouTube videos, but like sometimes I'll pop into a stream and he's doing like a fun casual run. Hi! Thank you for the follow. Um, <laughs> Michelle Stu, I appreciate it. <laughs> the reason- I feel bad because sometimes I miss the follow because I don't have the follow alert in my chat box, so I just have it open in my, in my notifications panel. So if I miss the follow, I'm sorry. I apologize. I need to get good- Okay, next we're going to see what the hot items of the day are. Okay, paw print door plate and then sell shell. I cannot say shell. Maybe from TikTok, imagine. I don't know. I don't usually get many followers live, which is fine. I don't care. I I honestly am more concerned about people coming to the actual stream. I don't I don't care about follower count. I don't care about numbers to that capacity. But usually if a video pops off on TikTok, that's when I'll get like a lot of offline follows. Oh, wait, what was I doing? It was the pod door plate. Okay, we need wood. And then the shell partition. Okay, so we need shells and regular wood. Shells, regular wood. But I, I honestly think it's really cool whenever I have, like, someone come over from a different platform. Because just in general, like, if you're looking at, like social media companies, it's very hard to get people to, like, change platforms. Like, it's usually very hard to get people to follow or, like, go from Instagram to Twitter or, like, Twitter to YouTube. Um, because not a lot of people want to take those- that extra five clicks, you know? So, it makes me feel really good whenever I see people come in the stream or, like, if I get an offline follow or follow live from, like, a different platform. Like, it kind of validates me to the sense that all the work that I'm doing is good. Like, what I'm doing is working. Like, all the time I put into stuff is helping the stream, helping me make better content, you know? Oh, we can snitch on them! Or not snitch, eavesdrop. <laughs> Lol. Okay. <laughs> Have you guys decided what you're gonna eat for snack time? I got so many choices. I can't make up my mind. I love me some snacks. What are your options? Well, there's banana bread. Or figgy pudding? Or tartatine? Or shaved ice? Or rainbow sorbet? Or, um... Rainbow sherbet? Or sherbet? Why am I say sorbet? <laughs> that's everything I bought special for daily snack times. Hmm. That's a tough decision. That's why I usually just eat whatever I can reach while I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> Deciding is hard. <laughs> Know what I do when I see two cute outfits I want, but I can only afford one? I buy both! <laughs> Lamo, Getting into just infinite credit card debt? I buy both! It's totally the worst choice, but I get everything I want, even if I <laughs> feel lousy about it later. Hang on! I think I'm having a moment of clarity. <laughs> Personal growth is neat! Well, I'm gonna head off to go eat all the pumpkin pie I can find. Or maybe some fried ice cream? Oh, I forgot a Bavarian cream, maybe some creme brulee? It's- it's so bad. I try not to keep, like, food out and about. Like, all of my snacks in my room. Because in our household, you buy your own snacks. Like, groceries is a community group. But all the snacks, you buy for yourself. And if you don't want your snacks stolen by, like, mom or dad, you keep them in your room. So, in my dresser, I- <laughs> okay, This is a self-report. I have a dress- a dresser drawer this big, and this big, like, just dedicated for snacks and, like, emergency food. 
So, like, if there is, like, a power outage, I have, like, dry food that I can eat. But it's just filled to the brim with snacks. <laughs> Which, I, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't tap into that drawer every day. I do not do that. I can assure you that. But I have, oh, what do I have in there? I have, I have a lot of granola bars. Um, I have a lot of, like, Japanese candies. Oh, I see a, I see a present. I'm trying to think what else. Ooh, I'm a big fan of a potato chip. A big fan. Okay, there's literally no way for me to get this present. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna have to wait till it crosses the lake here. Or not the lake, the river. <laughs> because just in general, I'm trying not to snack more throughout the day. And like, also with my snacks, like, I have them pre-prepped and portioned. So like... <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Like, if I don't pre-portion, like, I will eat them all. Like, I will deadass eat, like, a whole bag of chips because I have no self-control. So, what I've started doing is, like, I will put, um, like, just, like, one serving of chips into, like, a baggie or, like, a Tupperware. That way I can just grab a Tupperware and that's my serving for the day. That way I can feel a little bit better about myself. And like also yogurt, I I I portion them into like little prep bowls. Because yogurt, yogurt is healthy, right? It's better than like shoveling ice cream. But it's still like as like the brand I like has a lot of sugar and fat content in it. Cause like, dude, I love Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is god tier. Ooh. If you ever put Greek yogurt in the freezer, it's like the texture is like a mix between shave ice and ice cream. It is so good. Y'all need to try it one day. Dude, I could talk about food all day. <laughs> Honestly. Um, but I have found ever since I started like pre-portioning snacks, like I'm definitely not overeating, which is good. Which is pog o. Okay, we gotta collect all the shells and wood. From our island. Just scattered everywhere. Oh, dude. Yeah, the honey one. Underrated. But it is so good. I will always choose, like, the strawberry flavor. Dude, I'm a sucker for anything fruit flavored. <laughs> or, like, the Yo Play. Like, key lime pie flavor. Dude, that was my favorite when I was little. Because, yes, it is more expensive. But it is so good. Actually goaded. But, like, Greek yogurt is so expensive, so, like, I can't buy it all the time. And, uh, of, of, of course, the brand I like is, like, a dollar more. It's a premium brand. So, of course, it's more expensive. <laughs> but in my head, if I'm gonna, like, spend my money on, like, snacks or, like, food, I wanna buy stuff to treat myself, you know? I wanna buy that good shit. Like, I think the last time we got, like, the Japanese candies... Ooh! I don't have any left, I ate them all. <laughs> but they had, like, this premium Kit Kat bar. And, like, you know how, like, a normal Kit Kat, like, the Japanese ones, they're, like, one by two inches? But they had, like, a premium that was, like, a half an inch by four inches. Like, it was, like, this long-ass Kit, Kit Kat bar. But, like, the chocolate and the wafer was so good. Like, th that one bar was, like, four dollars. But so good. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I have no shells. <laughs> oh, dude, I just thought, what if you mix, like, the raspberry or the strawberry yogurt with the honey yogurt? Ooh. That sounds like it'd be good. <laughs> like, you know how they have, like, Neapolitan ice cream? What if they had, like, Neapolitan yogurt? Somebody write this down, guys. I think that is gonna be our million dollar idea. <laughs> oh, my pockets are full, Sag. Okay, I think I do have some manila shells so we can 
craft some bait, actually. There we go. We only have two. <laughs> Thought I had more. Oh, I could probably try that. Like, if I freeze different yogurt in, like, a Neapolitan style, in, like, a Tupperware. Ooh. I want to try that. I want to try that. Next time I'm going to the store, I'm going to buy, like, a million one yogurts and try that out. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be a gazillionaire. <laughs> Somebody... I need to, um... What's it called? What is it called? Copyright it. Patent! I need to patent this right now. Sorry, I was like stretching out my knee and it just popped. <laughs> I am in moderate pain, but it is fine. I am a-okay. I think my pockets are full right now. I appreciate the lurk, no problem. We love viewers, we love anybody who comes in the stream, but I appreciate the lurk. Hi, Michelle. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, enjoy your lurk. But I appreciate you coming in and saying hi. <clears throat> I know there's like a lot of stigma that I know I myself feel whenever I lurk, but I think even just saying hi is nice. You know, because it's nice to see like regulars in chat because I know some people are more social than others, and you know, that's fine. There are some days where I'm not as chatty or like as talkative, so I definitely feel more comfy lurking some days. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that for him and be my first customer did. That genuinely sounds so delicious though. Like I need to try and make that. Aw, thank you, I appreciate it. Usually like, Okay, you're you're here for an Animal Crossing stream. It's definitely more cozy, like definitely more chill, just chatting type vibes. But when I play Mario Kart, I get I get tilted. I get a little bit more extra. So, <laughs> um, if you're new to stream, I'm gonna go ahead and link my stream schedule. That way you can see what games I play on which day. And that link in chat will show you your localized time zone. So if you're in a different time zone or a different country, it will show you <clears throat> your localized time zone. Because I am in PST. But yeah, we usually hang out, we chill. And I changed up stream to where I'm going to play Animal Crossing every day. So, okay, I honestly need to update the schedule, but I'm also debating because like I don't want to put, put that I'm going to play Animal Crossing every day. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I think Animal Crossing just in general, it's a, it's a nice game to like vibe and chill and just like listen to people to talk at, right? Or listen, listen to people talk. Like sometimes I'll browse the Discover tab. And like lurk in an Animal Crossing stream because like one Animal Crossing music is actually god tier, and a, like nice to vibe to. Ooh, I think my favorite music in the game has to be the rain music. Absolutely so chill, so nice. <laughs> exactly. I I miss the Animal Crossing meta because like when you browse the Discover tab on Twitch for like Animal Crossing, half of the streams is just like not actually people playing the game it's like what i'll see is people like encouraging they're like how the, like it's the island hopping i think it's called where you can get like oh get a million bells or get this furniture or get five million nook tickets um which i think is fine but like that's all of the top animal crossing streams oh that's okay i know like i would stream later in the day but the reason why I do stream like midday, it's because it, it's 1.30 for me right now, is because usually everyone is at work and they tell me I talk too loud. So they appreciate it when I stream when they aren't home <laughs> or like when, pe when less people are home and they're at work, right? So like, but also less people stream in the morning and midday. So I feel like, because all of my streamer friends typically will stream in the evening or late night and I would feel bad if I kept missing their streams all the time, you know? 
but don't feel bad about missing stream you know it happens you can watch the vod we have the clips up daily on the tiktok and youtube so you won't be missing too much because like i think the coolest thing about being here for the live is yes you get to talk to me that's kind of cool i guess but then also i think just like twitch's integrated functions for chat room whether it be like the emotes you can use or like the predictions or polls is like another fun way to interact with the chat room when you're live so i think that is like the biggest like benefit for being here for the live otherwise like i do have chat on screen for the vod so like if you can't see the chat room you can still see it on the vod on screen um so you still have context for like what i'm saying to chat um one thing i do see people i've heard varying opinions on it but like when i read a chat message i don't read it word for word typically um because i personally find it redundant if i just reread the chat message for everybody i think that's kind of cringe like um i will either like reply to someone directly be like oh bobby i agree with your opinion instead of like reading out bobby's opinion and then seeing my response right and also i feel like that type of back and forth with your chat room encourages people to actually read the chat um I understand some people are lurking, so they're not necessarily looking at their screen the whole time. But it kind of like I feel like it like I said, it makes people pay attention more. If I don't read out chat messages word for word. But that's just my opinion. I am o. Like it'd be different. Like, you know when you go to like a big streamer's chat and the chat is just like popping off. Like like you can't even read it, right? Like, I think in that context, it makes sense to, like, read off a, an individual message, like, word for word. Because at that point, you can't even go, like, a chatter can't go up to, like, reread the message that they're reading off of. So I think it makes sense to, like, read off a message. Oh my god. <laughs> One time, I was in Connery's pants chat, and, like, he, like, reacted and laughed at a joke I made. And I almost, I was so happy. I was, like, ecstatic. <laughs> um... <laughs> I was like, I'm freaking out, dude. My pockets are full, Sag. Um, because definitely once, like, streamers hit a certain level to where, like, they lose that, like, one-on-one -on -one interaction with chat. I understand, like, it's fine. It's understandable. Like, that will happen. That, that comes with, like, increased popularity and exposure. But I definitely like the vibe that we have now. You know, like, seeing regulars in chat and also... Getting to know, like, chatters on an individual one-on-one -on -one basis, I think, is really cool. Because the reason why I stream is, one, to have a creative outlet, and also give me something to do, because I stay home all day. Um, <laughs> and then also, just, like, talking to people, I've grown to, like, over time. Like, I used to be super antisocial, I used to, like, not talking to people. But now, streaming has become the highlight of my day. And... It's nice. Dude, I still wish there was a way to, like, craft multiple things at once. I do not understand how it has not been updated to make me be able to type in craft 10 door plates. Like, I, I, I'm just spamming A right now. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely so upset about it. <clears throat> oh, dude, Mario Kart Online. Like, if you're in a voice chat with, voice chat with friends playing Mario Kart, the funnest shit, dude. Mario Kart absolutely good because like that is a, the kind of game where you can like kind of troll your friends and like hit them intentionally and snipe them with their green and also like it's the kind of game where it's like you can have like a friendly amount of trash talk Mario Kart all the way all the way
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I was thinking about it. I currently don't play with viewers. I might in the future. But I think a really fun stream idea would be to like make an alt account and then just have people come into my lobby and intentionally like stream snipe and like fuck with me. Like I think that'd be a really good like 30 minute segment for a stream. <laughs> oh my god, I remember <laughs> um this clip came up on my YouTube recommended, but it was like a clip of XQC play Mario Kart. And like he he was like waiting for the race to start and he told his chat room, he was like, hey. If you guys are stream snapping, I literally don't want you guys to move. I want you to stay at the starting line. And <laughs> and like eight of the 12 people didn't move. And they were just like hopping around him at the starting line. And it was such a good clip. Oh my god. XQC has so many good moments. Like I don't watch his streams very often. But he has some freaking banger clips. Oh yeah, that would be a crazy stream, but I think it would be fun. Like, it would be, like, it would be kind of entertaining to watch for, like, I think the first 10 minutes. But once you hit that 10-15 minute mark, the gag gets kind of old. And then, like, I would just get actually legitimate upset and frustrated with my chat room. <laughs> um, that's another reason why. Okay, face cam is back. Hey, well, um, actually, while I'm troubleshooting this, it may take a minute since we have face cam back on. We are just about at hour three, and I need to fix this issue, so you're not going to be missing much anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and fill my contractual obligation and run a quick ad. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for just four ninety nine, just five dollars a month. That is the cost of one coffee. You can skip your coffee today and get ad reviewing all month and super cool sub -almost. But what you can also do is link your Amazon to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and launch that. I'm gonna fix the cam issue. So y'all non subs won't be missing much. I promise you. I know Sag ads. Okay, let's figure this out. <clears throat> okay. Un segundo. It's very much an issue of like, oh, unplug and replug. Okay, crosses my fingers. She works. Crosses my... Oh, she back. She back. Okay, let's find the right audio source. I think it is back. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick audio sync check. <laughs> okay, so we got um, one, two, one, two. Wait one more time. One, two, one, two. Okay, we are good. Thank God. I get I get so freaked out. Because um the capture cards I use for camera, I use I use an Agalda I use an Elgato HD 60S for both my game and the face cam. And what happens sometimes is that like the feeds well I assume like intersect and like bug and glitch out so that's basically what happened like five minutes ago and sometimes what happens is that once you like reset everything you're back let's go we got the game fixed so just in time you, you literally didn't miss anything <laughs> um it could not have worked any better um anyway anyway so basically like the feeds will in like intersect and like kind of bug and glitch and then once you like reset everything and unplug and restart it, sometimes like the audio will get fucked up. So like sometimes like the game audio will just be like. <laughs> Thankfully that didn't happen and it didn't like jump scare you guys today. Um, let's see. I think I think we've done all our dailies. We've chopped wood. We've watered our flowers. 
Oh, I need to donate this wasp. I need crafted our hot items of the day. What is that I see? Another sky egg. Okay, I think we are good to go for Animal Crossing. Wait, actually, actually, wait. There, I we need, we need, we need to talk. We, well, I cannot talk. We need to talk to these guys. I love listening on the other like conversations. It feels like on the town gossip, you know. Oh wait, I skipped what he said. Okay, all right, we're gonna run a hundred laps around the island. You pumped? You ready? Huh? Yeah, um... I don't know about this anymore. It sounds kinda hard. Of course it's gonna be hard! The hardest how you get buff! Come on, 100 laps, let's do this! Dude, I will literally die. I can't run 100 laps, that's... That's 100 too many, help! Oh. Okay, okay. We can either be like... Girl boss, tell him no. Why don't you try it? Be like a centrist, and then I'll run with you. Be like a supportive friend, but also we still want to see you suffer. Hmm. I think I think girl boss is the way to go. Like no means no. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. Hey, um... Oh, it's Kevin. Hey, one way or another, we're doing a hundred laps. This is gonna happen even if I have to carry you, Simon. Actually, hang on. Carrying you for a hundred laps sounds like a really solid work. How about it? Mind if I carry you around the island? What do you say, Simon? Um, sure. If you can carry me home, then do the rest and learn by yourself. Sound good? <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> okay, well, they're not running, so we saved Simon right there. We, got, we clutched it right there for him. Okay, I think we can go ahead and pause the animal crossing here. But you know what time it is? You know what time it is? It is time for the, a fan favorite segment of stream. It is time for you laugh, you freaking lose. So let's go ahead and get that set up. Um, if you are new to chat, how it works is if I laugh, I end stream. Let me know. Pretty, pretty simple. But talking about you laugh, you lose. I am doing. A viewer submitted You Laugh You Lose segment for my birthday stream in two weeks. So if you have a chance during the weekend, because I know I'm not going to be live till Tuesday. Oh, wait, no, we're streaming on Sunday. We're streaming on Sunday because it's Easter. But uh, fill out, click that link in chat, fill out that Google form, and submit your favorite haha YouTube videos, and I will laugh to them on stream. Maybe. I don't know. We are figuring it out. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing a crazy birthday stream. So look forward to that, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm not really gonna do anything <laughs> besides stream. Like I don't think we're gonna go Ooh. I think I might make myself some cupcakes. I think I think that would be cool in Pago. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our YouTube video up and running. Yeah, I okay, I was thinking. Yeah, cheat myself, did yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> What was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, my favorite cake has to be pineapple upside down cake. That is my absolute favorite. So I think I can maybe try and make myself like pineapple upside down cupcakes. Cause like, you know the pineapple rings? I think those would fit like perfectly in a cupcake liner. And if not, then I can cut it up. But I feel like that would be freaking delicious. So I might have to experiment and try that. Oh, can we just look at my nails too? You can kind of see, it's got like this color chrome effect where in some light it looks purple and then some it's like this burnt, kind of like bronzy color and I love it so much. I thought I would hate this color, but I generally like it. Bro, you need to try and make a pineapple without donkey because it's actually a nice Oh, I didn't change my title. <laughs> Hold on. seconds for favor eh. <clears throat> okay we have changed my title if i laugh i am stream rules are simple should make the yogurt for my birthday nah dude I, I i'm treating myself yogurt is like 
a good treat, but not like a birthday's treat. <laughs> anyway, it is time for the fan favorite segment of the stream. You laugh, you lose. If you laugh in chat, type one and tell me what made you laugh. I am not allowed to pause the video unless I feel like I should pause the video. And I can smile, but I cannot laugh. I cannot chortle, I cannot chuckle. But I can smile. Okay? Okay, let's go ahead and get started, guys. <clears throat> Wait, I gotta make sure my audio is good. Like I said, I troubleshooted the other day, so audio should be good. Aww, what do I like? Good looks. Oh no! This delicious. That was cute. Thank you. Wait, can we go back? Can we go back for like literally a few seconds? I used to work at a subway and this delicious peri peri chicken. Oh, dude, that is like the worst shit. Um, I had a coworker not because, like, you know, when you go to the subway and they have like the olive oil drizzle. Homie didn't like screw the nozzle on all the way. That was a bad action to do. Anyway, um, and like, like I went to like, like shake on the olive oil and the bottom cap opened and literally I was standing like I had oil all over my shirt, all over my pants. It was bad. It was not good. Anyway, that's a quick story time. Back to the video. What was that even? It looked like a skeleton, low key, high key. Body humor, best humor. That's a good gag. <laughs> Honestly, if you saw that, wouldn't you like freak out? <laughs> Why'd they scream? Just the little bell chime is so good. When you can't afford Coachella tickets. What did it say? It said something. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. We need to pause. Oh, it says take a moment. I was dumb. That would be something like funny. I thought they were gonna throw it at the camera. Get a, uh, I get a, 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 a
With a wrench. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Can I guess what's gonna happen? I think, you know, the sprinklers? It'd be funny if it was just like a full jet propulsion and then just like water went everywhere. Dude, that would have been such a good gag if what I said happened. Walker, I said no drugs in the house. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was dragging another cat, and I was like genuinely concerned. Oh, dude, I've seen this shit. Actual good hack. I haven't tried it, but it's pretty good. That moment was way too real. <laughs> okay, that, that one got me though. <laughs> that, that one was good. I think another one that almost got me was, what was it? Where the lady was laughing and then she started like gargling. That one was also good. When mom doesn't make you chicken nuggies, so you slam the baguette on the table. Anybody get got? I know, um, Vermin got got. Good shit. Okay, my friend was telling me that these, like, compilation videos aren't that good, but I think they are freaking hilarious. This is unusual memes. Here it is. I think the compilation videos are so good. They're amazing. Oh, okay. That, that's good for you, love. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, take some time this weekend, fill out that, um, viewer submitted you laugh or lose. I would greatly appreciate it. I think right now we have six submissions, which is cool. Which is amazing. I genuinely thought no one would fill it out. So six is a pretty pago. But you know, now that we have six, I'm getting gritty. I want ten more people to fill it out. No, it's okay. Don't do it if you don't want to. But also, maybe, if you're cool. Okay. <laughs> I think we can go ahead and call it a stream here. 
It's fun to put Animal Crossing music back on. So, I would like to thank everybody who came in the stream today. Any chatters, lookers, we did get a lot of follows live. So we had Sunny Plays, we had Munchkins, we had Furman, um, Esmeri is here, Yahir, and then Michelle for the follows. We had a lot of live follows today, that's crazy. But, I will be live again on Tuesday, 11 a.m. PST with Mario Kart and then Animal Crossing. If you want to see more of my offline stuff, you can check out my other social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you aren't already, we did get a few people come in to stream from TikTok. But if you aren't already, go follow the TikTok. You will see some co super cool clips from stream. Um, I'm going to see if anybody I know is live right now. Oh my god, my friend Cutely is live. Oh my freaking god. Okay, so if you are new to Twitch or new to the interface, we are going to be raiding out to friend of the show Cutely. Just a few basic rules. Um, make sure you are nice to her. Katie is my actual IRL friend, so make sure you are nice to her. Um, if you are rude or mean in her chat, you will be banned here. That's my personal rule, so be nice to her. Also, the other day, Thanks for streaming. Yeah, I appreciate you coming in and chilling and lurking with us, Michelle. I really do. Um, also, the other day when we raided out to Cuterly, we helped her get a hype train. So if you are new, a hype train is basically when multiple people either subscribe, share butts, or donate at the same time. So my chat, when we raided out, we helped her get a hype train, which I thought was pretty cool. So if you have the music, go to her street so it'd be cool if we helped her get another hype tree only only do it if you like have money to spend okay okay um but since we are heading over there i gotta get my headsets on since we are heading over there you can either if you are a non-sub type in her chat peace raid and if you are a sub you can type in peace i2 spin peace raid and then peace i2 spin <clears throat> so when we head over there go ahead and type one of these two messages in her chat room that way she knows we are there and from my channel um as i said i appreciate everyone who came and hung out with me today it's honestly a pleasure to chat with y'all and hang out with you guys i really honestly makes me so happy so thank you guys i will see you guys wait we're streaming on sunday I will see you guys on Sunday for the Animal Crossing Easter event. So if you like Animal Crossing, make sure you guys have go live notifications on for my channel. So make sure you have the notification bell activated that we can notifications when I'm live that we can catch the next stream. Anyway, let's go ahead and raid out to Cutie Lee. I think she's playing Valorant right now. And I think it's literally the first time she's playing Valorant. So she, she might take some L's. <laughs> but be nice to her, okay? Be nice to her. Okay, so I will I will be in Katie's chat for a little bit because I'm going to go eat lunch soon. <laughs>